Welcome to a very special Season of Reason edition of The Randy Show. Uh, Randy, can you just describe briefly what the Season of Reason is all about here at the James Randy Educational Foundation? Well, it's sort of a substitute for Christmas. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Uh, season of Reason, we're coming to the end of the year, and people uh, look over their accounts and say uh, to their accountant, should I give away some money this year? And uh, the accountant says yes. They say, I have to give it to a nonprofit, and we are, the James Randi Educational Foundation, a legitimate nonprofit, uh, as we can tell from looking at our books and talking to our accountants. But uh, that is uh, one reason we time it at the end of the year this way. And not only that, there are all kinds of bonuses that are being offered to people uh, if they give $100 or more, but you can tell us about that, I'm sure. The big one is a James Randi ornament for your holiday tree. Uh, if you can go to randy.org, you'll see a picture of it. It's it's you and a Santa hat sitting in a chair. And we've gotten a couple of comments, emails, questions from people okay. uh, asking if you are, in fact, Santa Claus. And that's that's not true, right? Well, depends how you define Santa Claus. In this household, pretty well, yes, <laughs> but not outside these walls. <laughs> uh, no, I, I have, I have a serious doubt about the existence of the jolly old elf and flying reindeers. That, that's, that's a little tough for me to take, you know. No, no, wait a second, wait a second. And I, I have a problem with that, Brian. Yeah, I, I'm sure you don't have any problem with it, but uh, I mean, look, my my I, mother told me that that you aren't. Santa Claus, but you're just one of his helpers. No, a exposed, exposed. Finally, I, I, I knew this day would arrive. I, I, I just knew it would arrive, and uh, my, my apologies to the world. And I, I hope that you'll put this on YouTube so that uh, it will be exposed to the whole world. I am only a, a helper, and I'm a little bit lame in the hip now, so uh, I'm, I'm not doing that much helping. I do a lot of uh, paperwork. Uh, for the jolly old elf, and uh, I do it in Florida rather than doing it at the North Pole because I, I tried it one time and uh, I gave up after about six hours of it. I, I was frozen to the pen, you know, that and that gets your attention right away. Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, the season of reason is very important to us at the JRF and uh, important to us who uh, have literally dedicated our lives and our existences to um, bringing rationality and sanity to the public at large, not just to the members of the JRF, but to schools and school teachers, instructors of all kinds, and uh, through the amazing meeting that we uh, involve ourselves in every year, and this last one had 1,672 attendees. That That's a hell of a big figure, you know? Yeah, it's and the largest are, conference for skeptics yeah. and free thinkers in the world. That's true. And from 35 countries, Brian, there were 35 countries represented there. That's really flattering. I don't think I could find 35 countries on, on the, uh, the globe of the world if I tried to. But we had that number of countries actually represented there. Uh, that's a thing to be very proud of, and I'm personally very proud of it. But it could not have been done without the, the cooperation of uh, all those fine people who volunteer for us and who work for us. And we, we do have many, many, many supporters all over the world who help us out uh, all the time. And even though we're a small organization, we've been able to accomplish quite a bit this year. Um, mm -hmm. You mentioned our educational programs. If people go to randy.org, they can see how they can download educational modules to use in the classroom on all sorts of topics. Uh, we've got and for ES free. For free. They're absolutely free. Uh, we've got an ESP module, working on a dowsing module, and a module on the Cottingly Fairies. They teach kids how to think critically and investigate things using the scientific method. And uh, it has these fun topics as a sort of uh, jumping off point for that kind of instruction. And, you know, the Cottling Fairies Affair is so amusing. It's so, so juvenile that Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, pardon me, uh, knighted... Uh, in England, can you imagine? I mean, actually knighted, not for the creation of Sherlock Holmes, but for another support of the government that he was famous for. But this man actually believes these two little girls, when they sent him these simple photographs of paper cutouts on the lawn with hat pins holding them up, 
it's an incredible story, the Cottingley Fairies story, uh, but it's a good subject for kids because they'll get amused by it, but then I hope that it sinks in on them the importance of it, the seriousness of it. The public at large believed this, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle believed it, and thousands of people in the UK, in fact all over the world, believed that there were fairies in Cottingley Glen. Uh, incredible that people would believe this. Or they, but there are still people, we call them theosophists, who believe in gnomes and uh, and the, the ganashing of gnome teeth, I always think of it, uh, as, and fairies and, and, and we folks. and They still believe in it, and they call themselves theosophists. Uh, duh, th this is incredible, but it's true, and the the modules that we turn out on that particular subject are not only entertaining, as I said, to the kids, but it shows them that there is something important they can get their teeth into. And when they get into a discussion of why did people believe this, they can hardly believe the conclusions that they come to. It's very educational and it's very useful. And I'm very proud that we have that out there. And in addition to that, we also offer uh, educational grants to teachers who want to develop a critical thinking curriculum for their own classroom. We offer scholarships for students. I mean, just the list goes on and on and on. Just yep. go to randy.org and click on our Season of Reason banner, and you'll be able to see a rundown of uh, everything that we've been up to this past year and what your money would go to support uh, when we go into next year, because we have a lot of big plans for the future. We're, we're in tough times. Sure we are. We are in tough times. There's no denying that. But you can make those times just a little less tough for us at the JRF and it will improve life for everybody, not only in this country, but really around the world, because we have a lot of fans, a lot of supporters from around the world. I hope that you'll join them in the season for reason. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.